In this video, we will explore enamel structure and properties. What is amelogenesis? Phases of amelogenesis. Ameloblast differentiation. Enamel is an acellular avascular tissue that lacks nerve endings. Unlike other tissues in the body, it does not contain living cells, which means it cannot repair itself. Once damaged, enamel cannot heal. Amelogenesis. Amelogenesis is the process of enamel formation. It begins during the late bell stage of tooth development, when the dental germ consists of outer enamel epithelium and inner enamel epithelium, separated by the stellate reticulum, stratum intermedium, located adjacent to the inner enamel epithelium, follicular sac, which surrounds the developing tooth, mesenchymal papilla, which later gives rise to the dental pulp and odontoblasts, Hertwig's epithelial root sheath, which will contribute to root formation. The enamel develops from the inner enamel epithelium, which differentiates into preamyloblasts. These preamyloblasts further mature into amyloblasts, the cells responsible for secreting the enamel matrix. Amelogenesis contains two phases. One secretory phase. In this phase, the organic matrix is secreted, which contains proteins, primarily enzymes. Amelogenin makes up 90% of this matrix. Following this, the formation of hydroxyapatite crystals begins for the process of mineralization. 2. Maturation phase. During this phase, there is an influx of minerals that allows for the growth of hydroxyapatite crystals. Simultaneously, organic proteins are eliminated, contributing to the final hardness and mineral density of the enamel. Ameloblast differentiation. The differentiation of ameloblast cells starts at the cuspid or incisal border of the tooth and occurs in four stages. 1. Pre-secretory phase. The inner epithelial cells, pre-ameloblasts, have a cuboidal shape with a centrally positioned nucleus. The cytoplasm contains dispersed organelles and lysosomes with acid phosphatase activity. They are attached to the stratum intermedium above via exchange junctions and connected to the basement membrane below, which separates them from the forming dentin by impermeable junctions. Once the basement membrane degenerates and the preamyloblasts come into direct contact with the forming dentin, the cells stop dividing and differentiate into secretory amyloblasts. 2. Secretory phase. Upon first contact with the dentin, the amyloblasts, which initially lack projections, secrete the first layer of enamel, known as aprismatic enamel. Following this, the amyloblasts develop a projection called Tomes process and begin producing prismatic enamel. First, they secrete the interprismatic matrix, which forms the material between the enamel prisms. Next, they secrete the enamel prisms, the structural units of prismatic enamel. 3. Maturation phase. During the maturation phase, ameloblasts undergo further morphological changes to ensure the enamel becomes fully mineralized and achieves its final hardness. Ruffle-ended ameloblasts. These facilitate the deposition of inorganic minerals, primarily hydroxyapatite crystals, into the enamel matrix to increase mineral density. Smooth-ended ameloblasts. These are involved in the removal of organic byproducts and water from the enamel matrix, creating space for further mineral deposition. 4. Protection phase. After the completion of mineralization, ameloblasts secrete a substance that resembles the basal membrane, known as Nasmith's membrane. This substance surrounds the enamel, providing protection until the eruption of the tooth. Once the tooth erupts, this protective layer disappears. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more educational content. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions for topics you'd like me to cover next.